We are so addicted and programmed by the TV, the radio. This isn't Hollywood. This is the real deal here. This is real. This is a journey. It's a journey that's unique for each of us. Awakening to a cry of wisdom. We live in this mainstream society, the American society. Everything you have and everything that's been technology, that is a, a place in a world of illusions. Well, certainly it feels like an illusion because, you know, my industry has been in advertising, television, trying to bring people to a point of what you need to be accepted, what you need to be pretty, what you need to be a status symbol in society. And I got to work with great people that were you know, some of the top doctors in the world, governors, presidents, all these people. And I never met anybody who had a PhD in wisdom. I think this is a very different movie because this is actually giving voice to our average people, to people like me and you, like everybody else that are not known. We are not personalities, we are not movie stars, but we have a voice. We live the real life, the non-sugar-coated one. And this is a movie about telling stories of life. Our true stories are not really written by the people that, have, that won the wars. Our stories are within the mountains, the trees, the waters. Since 1492, the messages that have been brought to this land were all wrong. Mother Earth is okay. The animals, the beings are okay. It's us as humanity that are not okay. We haven't learned the lessons from our ancestors, our elders of old up to now. So we keep repeating these mistakes. So we have to break the cycle. The news is all about distractions and all these shows and all these different things. We try to just get some reprieve down deep. People feel ill at ease. Like you always see these commercials on TV, it's like, oh, thousands or millions of people are buying this product. It's awesome. Like, we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress the people we don't like. And I've found no greater truth than that. Our medical system is stressed. Our financial institutions, our government is now coming to a breaking point where something has to change. There are so many people among us that carry the same message throughout the world as our ancestors brought forth. It's the same message that ancestors left back then the same thing that happened to us happened to them. This is something that um, many people don't like to hear, you know, because it's the truth. And not only people need to hear these things, you know, we all need to look at ourselves, you know, look at who we are and look at how we take from this world and from others. Everything that we're seeing is a reflection and a mirror of a piece of ourselves and we're not taking responsibility for anything. We're staying the victim, and we're wondering why our life isn't changing. We're not even aware of this, so let's wake up. We all walk around with an inner candle within ourselves, a flame that we always have inside of us. And although the worst goes before us, we shouldn't allow anybody to snuff out or blow out that candle. But despite all their firepower, the troops are not able to wheel out those men still loyal to Ceausescu. I grew up in a communist country, no? It was a very serious, tough dictatorship. And we were taught to be very aware of everything that we express out loud because it was a dangerous time. But also we were taught as children that our thoughts and our feelings and our minds and our souls and our hearts cannot be controlled. Within, we were free people. I think that if our people can grow up to understand why they were put on this earth, what their main mission is, they need to find that. From my own personal belief is that we were made to honor and worship God. 
because he's our provider. They forgot their original instructions. And when a person forgot his original instructions, you don't know who you are and you're lost. So the bird and the deer and the snake and the ant, they know their original instructions today. They still do. But the intelligent two-legged lost hers. And what are you gonna do when this time comes? There's nothing you can do. Nothing. You had a whole lifetime to prepare, see.